America coming together to make it or fake it to the moon. Something else that brings America together is the Olympics, which you can watch starting July 26 on NBC and Peacock. Now in honor of these things, it's time for another Kelly Olympic Games event. This is Kelly Spelly's Kelly Olympic Edition. What? Okay. <laughs> Here to host and pronounce, please welcome one of our favorite people, NBC Nightly News anchor, who you can also see during the Olympic Games on NBC, Lester Holt. <laughs> okay, so were, were y'all good spellers? Were you a good speller? Yeah. I guess. I, I was I'm afraid to say that, but. I know, I know. It feels I'm like, no, bold. I was terrible. Then I can, like, you'll be impressed. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were you terrible. a good speller? Oh, okay. Terrible. Really? Even to this day. I'm, I've got, I've got. The, I just the, picture you brilliant. I've got all the, the online time. dictionary there as I'm writing the news every day. Yeah. yeah. I do love that your phone guesses what you're, and I'm like, yeah, that is what I meant to say. Yeah. yeah or sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yes. Okay. Well, okay. This is, this show is yours now. Take it away. All right. Well, Kelly, thank you very much. Before we begin, let's meet Scarlett and Kelly's teammates. They are okay. two former Scripps National Spelling Bee competitors. First up is Laura. Woo! Hi, Nice to see you. Laura Don't do too well. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Laura's an eighth grader from Manhattan. She was the winner of the New York City Regional Spelling Bee in 2023. She'll be on Team Scarlet. So yes! Big, big, big we also have Aria. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my God, you're so cute! Hi! I'm Kelly. Nice you. Aria is a fifth grader right from Livingston, New Jersey. At just nine oh, years hi. old, she was one of the youngest spellers at the 2023 Scripps National Spelling Bee. Okay. She is on Team Kelly. Love it. Love it. I feel it. I feel it. So here's how it works. We will spell one at a time. I can help you out by providing you the part of speech, the definition, a language of origin. I can also use it in a sentence if that helps you. So Laura and Aria will be spelling words associated with Olympic right. sports. Meanwhile, Kelly and Scarlett will spell the names of celebrities. This year, <laughs> the celebrities are former and current Olympic athletes. Oh my! Oh, man. oh God! You guys, good with that? Oh no! And I and I have to warn you: these names can be harder than you think. Here's Lavar Burton at the last Kelly Spellies trying to spell Scarlett's name. Yeah. Lavar, are you ready for your word? I am, Dr. Oh, man. Okay, so it's Johansson. As in Scarlett? Yes. No pressure. J o h a n n s. O N. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was too excited. J O H A N S S O N. You know, it happens to all of us, happens to the best of us. <laughs> wow. Way too competitive. Scarlett, you're looking on with us. Come on, come on. You I can mean, do I it. know how to spell his name. Now, now granted, it's easier, but okay, cool. All right, <laughs> so the winning team will receive $5,000 for new books for the student courtesy of Scholastic. Yeah! Awesome! So are you guys ready to do this? Ready. All right, the, uh, uh, Laura, you are first. Your Olympic word is canoeing. Canoeing. Um, can I have the definition? The sport of paddling a light, narrow boat. Can you use it in a sentence? While I was canoeing down the river, I hit a rock and flipped my little boat. Rough day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> canoeing. C-A-N-O-E-I-N-G. Canoeing. That is correct. Yeah! You guys are off nice to a great start done. there. Nicely done. Okay, Aria's turn now. Okay, Aria, uh, your Olympic word is Olympiad. Olympiad. Can I have the definition? Sure. It's a celebration of the ancient or modern Olympic Games or a period of four years. Can I have it in a sentence? During the Games of the 33rd, Kelly will co-host the opening ceremony. Okay. Like this. Olympiad. O-L-Y-M-P-I-A-D. Olympiad. That is yeah! correct. Yeah. You guys are rocking so far. Scarlett, you ready? It's your no, turn. I am not. Okay, you got to be ready. All right. 
<laughs> Your athlete name is Retton. Can you, who is it? Oh, Retton. Mary Lou? Like Mary Lou? <laughs> Mary Lou? Mary Lou? Like Mary Lou? Well, I can't tell you. Oh, I mean, you I, I mean, Wait, you, you just told them a bunch of information. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, can you, up. I'm just can you use here. it in a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. No, here's a sentence. In, in Scarlett's new, new movie, they seem to be defying gravity just like Mary Lou Retton. It is Mary Lou Retton. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Lester Holt. <laughs> um, God, how do you do Retton? Is it R-E-T-T-A-N? That is unfortunately What did not. I do? Don't shake your head like you knew. I just <laughs> R-E-T-T-O-N? I don't know. So we were, we were looking for R-E-T-T-O-N. Oh, wow. Well. Hey! Okay. <laughs> I'm getting bold, but now I'm next. Oh, no. All right, this is Kelly's turn. Kelly, uh, your Olympic athlete's name is Phelps. Oh, okay. P-H-E... Oh, can I have it in a sentence, please? <laughs> okay, you, 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 just, you suddenly were not sure. Yeah, I just... I'm not okay, even in, make in a sure. sentence. Yeah. Michael Phelps used to spend a lot of time in the pool. Now he spends lots of time on the golf course. Now I know how to spell it. Okay, P-H-E-L-P-S. That is correct. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's Laura's turn. You're up again. You ready? Ooh. Yeah. All right. Your Olympic word is ooh, Taekwondo. Can I have the definition, please? It's a Korean art of unarmed self-defense characterized especially by the extensive use of kicks. Um, can you use it in a sentence? Lester was cornered at night in a dark alley, but thankfully he was able to defend himself with his knowledge of Taekwondo. <laughs> I don't write them, I just read them first. I would pay a lot of money to see you do some Taekwondo, man. I just, yeah. yeah. Okay, Taekwondo. T A E K W O N D O. Taekwondo. That's amazing. I would have got that wrong. Ari, are you ready to go again? Yeah. All right, your word is repost. Repost? Exactly. What? <laughs> R-I-P-O-S-T-E, repost. That is correct. <laughs> you are amazing! I just guessed on that one. I don't even know what that is. I feel like I'm back on Fallon playing a game and I don't know what things are. All good. All right, Scarlett's turn. All right, your athlete oh name is Usain. Uh, I think I know that one. I'm going to say, wait, I, I can see it in my mind. <laughs> I can see it. I can see it. Uh, U-S-A-I-N. That is correct. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. I would have not gotten that. Nah. Good. Nah. All right. Uh, Kelly. I am impressed. That's, yeah, no. I am also impressed. <laughs> nah. Kelly, you're up again. Your athlete name is Simone. Oh, like Simone Bile. I feel like, look at her. She got angry. What? I feel like you're easy, easy. Okay. S I M O N E. That is correct. I feel like that was way easier. I think it's a, yeah. <laughs> I think it's more of an example of what my producers think I'm capable of. <laughs> Isn't there like some sort of like round of, that's like a do or die situation? I think oh you that's wanna... the professional yeah, name of it. Do or die. Show. Do or die. <laughs> that's the professional name I just came up. Are we about to get? Okay. We're about to get. Oh, I love it. I'll take it. I'll take it. You're each getting $5,000 oh. from Scholastic. Yeah! Be sure to watch Lester as he anchors NBC Nightly News weeknights from Paris during the Olympic Games. He'll have interviews with athletes and analysis from Mike Tirico. Coverage starts with the opening ceremony on NBC and Peacock July 26th. And also go see Scarlett's new movie. It's called Fly Me to the Moon. It's so good. It's in theaters tomorrow, everybody.